Welcome back then guys to yet another side quest for Nino Kuni 2, another tutorial video, there's so many side quests in this game, uh, but that's great because you can literally just take hours away from the main story and engage in as much of this stuff as you want to. So in order to do this one, which is going to be side quest number 51, Spear or Spear or Spear or something like that, Priestess in Training, you are going to require the Rejuvenate spell. So you learn this at the spell works in your kingdom, and I'll just show it you here. I have a level 2 kingdom, if that helps. So you don't need a high level kingdom, but I think you do need a level 2 minimum. And it's this one here, so you want to make sure this is learned uh, before you go ahead with this quest. And the quest itself is going to take place, or at least be picked up, in the Palace of Hydropolis. So we're going to head over there next. Just teleport over to uh, Cardio, I believe it is, is the closest location. And then we can just head into the palace from there. So just head north from where you land when you teleport to Cardia. And we'll speak to this guy here. He's going to take us into the palace itself. And there is another side quest you may not have done if you've not been following along with my videos in this place. It's side quest number 53. And it's uh, going to involve killing a tainted mob that's level 43, but an easy one. But watch my video on that. You pick it up just from here. There's a person that's no longer here for me. It's the last video I put out if you want any assistance with it. But for today, we're going to speak to this particular NPC. And we'll go ahead and pick up the quest. This is also going to involve a skirmish, by the way. Just as a heads up. Excuse me. Yes. Freaky. Yeah. Hmm. Right, so we need to head over to Lucy P's Labyrinth in order to go ahead and uh, complete the skirmish that's required in order to complete this particular quest. And I did mention we need the Rejuvenate spell, so make sure you just keep track of that as well. So if for whatever reason you haven't yet made your way over to this area, it's the purpley area at the bottom of the world map here. You can just use your boat to get here and grab the trip door from where I'm standing. You can do this quest in chapter 6, which is when it first becomes available, right at the start of chapter 6 as well. And then we'll find Speo, Speo, whatever her name is here, Excuse and speaking me. to her will bring up the new skirmish, which will appear just around this place. Mm. Thanks. Okay, so it's a level 16 skirmish, which should be easy for me, uh, but if you're underleveled for this one, then please do go ahead and check out the video I put out on how to grind levels for skirmishes. And that should help you on your way. Although, that said, uh, after you've done the first couple of skirmishes that you're required to do, you should pretty much be strong enough to take this one on anyway. Even if you're not, you know, level 16, if you're about level 7 or 8 or whatever. Just make sure you spend some King's Guilders if need be on bolstering your forces. I pretty much do that as standard with skirmishes just to get through them faster. Especially now here in Chapter 6, I've got like 1.5 million King's Guilders and 80,000 coming in uh, every 10-15 minutes or so. So I really don't notice the dent that bolstering my forces causes in that total. So I won't actually go ahead and show you the battle because it's fairly simple. I'll just go ahead and get it done. So after the skirmish battle, as long as you get a victory, you'll get the trumpet. It's called the Sea God's Trumpet. And you'll get a bit of dialogue about it as well. And at that point, we've just got to basically teleport back to where we picked this quest up from initially. So obviously the objective will tell you exactly where to go as well, which is always helpful. So back in the palace, we're going to speak to the sister or Speo. It doesn't really matter which. 
And we're going to get some more dialogue. And this is where we're going to need the rejuvenate spell. So you'll definitely want to make sure you've learned that before you come back the second time. Right, so we'll speak again. All right. A couple of things we have to do by the looks of it. Yeah. And there's the Rejuvenate spell cast. And there we go. So, Spio becomes my 46th citizen of Evermore. Which means I only need four more to go in order to finally upgrade the city to level 3. Still not max, but there's so much I want to upgrade it for. Mainly because I want to be able to expand my coffers. I have to keep going back every 10 minutes to empty them. But folks, I'm going to finish off the episode here. So thanks for stopping by and joining me today. And come back again soon. And we'll carry on with more side quest content for Nino Kuni 2. See you then.